That's when Captain Waters gets an idea. Okay. Try slow movements. Go slowly. Just ease in fuel. Easy does it. I could see Malcolm manipulating the thrust lever for engine one. I was just pinching the side of the thrust lever just to move it a millimetre. Each time I pinched it, it would just go up a millimetre. Slowly. Slowly. Incredibly, it seems to be having an effect. Rotation increasing in engine one. It's working. The rotation of the fan was increasing from 28 percent to 29 to 30 to 32 as I moved this very very slowly and gently up. Now let's see how far we can get. He wonders if he can get the engine to full power. I eased the thrust lever up a little bit more We had surges and the popping and whomping noise, and I immediately set the thrust lever back to what thrust we had. Waters figures out that the engine won't go any higher than 74% power. 74%. That'll have to do. We got a thrust setting that resulted in us being able to fly level. We weren't descending anymore, and that was like a huge relief. We have both runways available for your approach. The crew is cleared to land on either runway. The Airbus turns onto its final approach to Hong Kong Airport. Captain Waters is confident he can get the plane on the ground safely. Auto brake. Low. Final items. OK. They're a minute from touchdown. It's overspeed. It's an overspeed warning, a signal the aircraft is flying too fast. The speed was not reducing to anything close to the speeds that were indicated that we would be once we got into the landing configuration. Captain Waters can't figure it out. They should be slowing down. He rechecks the controls. It just looked completely wrong, and I was very uneasy that things were once again, to get out of my control, and that there was something that I was missing. Then he sees it. I looked up at the gauges, and yeah, my blood ran cold. Engine number one, which he throttled back minutes earlier, is inexplicably still running at 74% power. High thrust, too high to land safely. I had that whole feeling again of fear, anger. It was a scary moment. Too low terrain. Too low terrain. Their speed is a hundred knots faster than normal, so high the flight computer doesn't recognize that the pilots are trying to land. It's warning the pilot, like you are putting the aircraft in a dangerous spot, and those warnings are loud for a reason. And I just had to put it all to the side, focus on what I was trying to achieve. Disregard that. Captain Waters pushes the nose down, forcing the Airbus onto the runway. The aircraft did not want to land, and I remember thinking, wow, this is it, because it was very violent. I thought we are going to crash and into bits and pieces. Brace! I managed to keep that wing up high enough that I just grazed the surface of the runway and I got it back under control. We're down. Finally, the aircraft is firmly on the ground. 
full reverse. The crew deploys reverse thrust on the engines to slow the Airbus down while applying full braking power. Immediately, I just step on the brakes, hold them, toe brakes to the floor. No number two reverse, no diesel. But with only one partially functioning engine, they only have one thrust reverser. They could still overshoot the runway. I still didn't think we would stop by the end. The Airbus is getting close to the end of the runway. I could judge the deceleration rate was such that, you know, I started to get a glimmer of like, man, I think we really, uh, we could do this. Finally, the aircraft comes to a halt just a short distance from the water's edge. They've used up more than 8,800 feet of runway. I can't believe it. I made it. Nice one.